Hello everyone, this is Coach Bacon. Welcome back to Factoria. Green Science Production. Stalled. More Green Science Labs. That is all. Uh, sentence Fragments, too, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're moving along quite nicely, I feel. We've got the main bus going pretty thoroughly. Uh, we're producing plenty of the resources. If we look at our production statistics, uh, let's call it a minute so we can have a better graph. Things are things are looking pretty good, although we're producing less iron than we're consuming. Somehow. That's probably not a good sign. Uh, yeah. So yeah, things are coming along quite nicely, I feel. Um, just... Yeah. What is what is the plan for the future? For one thing, I was thinking I'd remove the limiter on that, because we're gonna need tons of walls for what I have planned for sealing us in to keep us safe. Uh, the railway is almost finished being like done, then we're gonna start researching what we need to do for oil handling. Um, let's look at our map for a second. Where are we vulnerable? We're vulnerable to attacks that will come down in this area over here, but they've gotta go through this corridor over here, so if it's from this direction, they'll be attracted to that, and if it's from this direction, they're probably gonna go over there. So we seem pretty safe in there. This is gonna be a magnet for these constantly, I imagine. Um, and again, from down there, they're going to hit here, 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 or possibly around here, but maybe they'll be attracted to that thing. I don't know. It's kind of funky, the lines, how they worked out. Like, it's not straight like I would normally do, but I kind of like how it looks. Oh, hey, we just lost power for a second there. Oh, what is going on? We're having, like, brownout power spike. Ooh. Ooh, our coal production is stalling bad. Okay. Um, no problem, I can fix this. Yeah, that should keep us going for just a little bit while we go ahead and look at why the coal production is stalling. Oh, our steel smelter. Oh, yeah, that's right, we're filling up the main bus with it. Ooh, we need... Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Uh, halt resource production for just a minute, at least. Um, or resource consumption, I should say. Okay, what can we do to increase these? We need these things. What do we need for this? We need plates, gears, and circuits. We have circuits, we have gears, we need plates. Slurp! Slurp them up. Get them all. Alright, we can forget about that one. Fifteen miners should be sufficient. Uh, do we have to automate miners for blue science still? I think they replace that with solid fuel. Which, you know, good for them. Yeah, look at that. Our electricity is not keeping up very well. I should... Yeah, no, I've got fuel in here I can use to jumpstart the system. Um, I want to be careful with how I do this, though. No, that's not going to work. I might just... Oof, this is going to suck so bad. But I think it must be done. Um, how should we do this, honestly? I'm, I'm tempted to just do like this. Try and get more coal flowing. So the biggest consumption seems to be the miners. Then like, yeah, then the assemblers also. But we seem to be leveling off maybe a little. Here. This is really not how we should be doing this. We should have a modular thingy that just divides it evenly. But I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna steal the coal from here and jumpstart the system as best I can. Because we're straight up out. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Is that enough? Okay, good. Uh, that's scary. Let's try not to have that happen again, okay? And we can do that by starting that. Uh, we'll need a pipe. And then we're going to need four steam engines. And we need iron. Yeah. We should automate pipe production. But uh, I can wait for at least a minute. Alright, now we don't have to waste time at least crafting the gears. Just the pipes. It's a little disturbing how much uh, steam engines we have to create these days. Like, just how many... How many steam engines did I make? Why do I have five of these? Okay. Cool. 
I don't know why I have that many, but I do. Good to know. So it looks like, yeah, we're still passively, we're not passively, uh, actively, I don't know what to call it. We're scanning the area around us, revealing more and more in a big old circle. I like that iron ore deposit over there, and I know that we got some copper, not a whole lot, a bit. Like, relative to that copper, it's not so bad. Uh, yeah, we'll need a new supply of copper. The cool thing is this oil over here. This looks good, but we're, we'll want to clear out the biters and probably get that wall up and running. Like, if we could get a wall there... And a wall there, that will seriously help, because then we only have to defend this area, really. Like, we'll put some turrets over here, done. That's a massive choke point, right there. Like, I was tempted to place the radar over here just because it would cover the entire area. I think I will. Okay, very good. We are backing up on coal again. In order to prevent that from happening, I had a dream. An idea, per se. Chest, uh, yeah. Okay. So now, even though we're going halvesies over here, this should create a big enough buffer that if we have a brownout, we won't notice for a long time and, like, problems. I should research the circuit network, connect it over to these two chests, then have like smart speaker sound thingies that would like inform me if things are bad. Where did those come from? I don't know. Like I don't know how to use the circuit network. Alright, I wanted to search fluid handling, because this is very important for pump jacks, for like sulfur, for batteries, for like lasers, and like all the things. We need this. Interesting. And how do we get this? Okay, so we gotta research fluid handling. Um, we're probably gonna wanna... Do we need to automate this? Steel, iron, electronic circuit, assembler. Hmm. Like, I mean, that's not too bad to automate, but I might just pocket craft these as I need them. These are slower, yeah, but they produce less pollution. Like, it, it's great. The reason we ran out of coal is because we're making so many grenades, I think. Yeah, look at that. It can't keep up. Yeah, so all that coal is just being consumed right now with no real use. The walls, too, because now we're mass-producing them at a stupidly high rate. Alright. Uh, how are we doing on belts? We're good on our person. So what are we doing today, really? I wanted to maybe do the research for the oil while we uh, cleared out this area. So, we tried doing it with the car, and that didn't go so well. So, I'm thinking if we take some grenades with us, yeah? We, we should be okay. Maybe we will get the uh, heavy armor, though. I know I said it's a huge old waste, and I'm not wrong, but it might be worth it. So here, let's go find the grenade box. There we go. Let's just... Eh, half of them should be fine. Grenade should allow us to clear that out quite nicely. Piercing round magazines are always helpful to have. Do I want a turret creep? On one hand, I kind of do. On the other hand, I kind of don't. Okay, oil processing. This is important. We're clearing that out. Like, there will be a war for oil. We, we are going to do that. But we're clearing out this area over here. And that's a pretty big area for a wall, I gotta say. Maybe we'll secure that area first. One way or another, we'll figure something out. Did we upgrade? Okay, let's upgrade our armor. Light armor is garbage now, along with that pistol that's still there, for some reason. Um... For the lols, maybe? Nah. I'm not that dumb. Or desperate. Okay, so what else do I need to do before we get going? I need to stock up on walls. I should head back over to the military science area. My kingdom for an exoskeleton. But hey, oil processing is the, the next massive step forward. Like, so far, this is child's play compared to, like, oil processing. What it's gonna get for us. Walls. Just grab all the walls. Okay. I'm gonna want turrets, aren't I? Copper plate, iron plate, iron gears. And then, like, enough red ammo to satisfy the need that they'll have for fighting off all the aliens. Because, like, I don't know about this area, but this area definitely we should seal off. 
But I think we'll be alright. Yeah, we can craft more if we need it. I should definitely get a radar going there. Um, I should definitely stop walking into trees. This is still producing 300 and 100 respectively. Okay, 400 colon backlogged. Our steel is backlogged. Our iron is being produced as fast as we can get it. That's not so bad. Let's go stick this in here. Why is that there? I hate the stupid, like, burner age electric drills. They suck so badly. Ow. Ow. <sighs> Alright, first steps first, right? Let's go clear out this thing. Oh, trees, why? Why are there so many trees here? This is absurd. Right. Where's the thinnest point? Looks to be around here. Wow, there's even... Dang rock. There's even, like, cliffs and stuff we could use strategically here. Yeah, look at this. But... Yeah, this forest, these cliffs. This place wants to have a giant freaking wall. Okay. Uh, that being said, I don't trust that the cliffs won't somehow screw us over magically. So, uh, just here a little bit thinner. I'm lining it up with the minimap, just sort of eyeballing it. A straight line over here would probably do it. I'm wondering if we did that, is there any way to get in? Not really, no. Did we research gates? Yeah, let's go get a gate. High res gates look pretty cool. Yeah, look at this. Like, I realize we haven't fortified it yet, but still, this area is just begging to be, like... Like, if this was an RTS, I would fortify here as much as humanly possible. Because this is the best spot, I think, in the game. Okay, now there's this segment over here, which is just the very simple. Just straight down. Very good. Now let's go get a couple more gates just in case. Where are they at? And I think... Except for the trees up over there, which are going to be annoying to secure. Uh, I mean, well, no, I have an idea for clearing out the trees. Kind of a waste, though, but let's test it. Technically works. And you all thought I was kidding when I said trees are the biggest enemy in this game. There we go. Very good. So now, like, that's it. We're done. From this side, we're safe. Um, plastics or sulfur? I want to get the sulfur. I want to get it fast, but... Hmm. I wonder. Lubricant's good, but we can't really use it right now. Flammables get us, like, the flame flower and the flamer, and rocket fuel is important. Um... Solar energy is quite nice, and I want to get accumulators too, which need batteries, which needs this. So this is important. I want to bum rush batteries, basically. So now, where should I place my turrets to be effective here? One over here, one over here, one over here, one over there, basically? Or nests of two, if you will, because I listed four locations. And then out of my own inventory, just half there, half there. Maybe fortify this a little bit more. And just via proximity, they sh uh, biters will attack. Just because of proximity. Then another two over here. I'm wondering if I even need to bother with the walls. 
Like, I know cliff explosives exist in this game, but I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, the biters aren't sophisticated enough to use them. Or make them, for that matter. Alright, let's go steal that. So then the next big area is going to be over here. Once we're able to secure our northern and eastern front, and the western front is covered by that ocean, we'll actually be pretty secure, I feel. Like, the south will be the only real threat to us, so we could focus fire on defending that. How's that look for coverage? Uh, kind of meh, to be honest. Maybe go back to over here? Because, like, we won't have to worry about defending our base, because we'll have a giant freaking wall doing the job for us here. Yeah, that looks alright. I, I can live with that. Let's head back to base. How many trees do you think I'm going to run over or rocks I'm going to hit in the night? Trees. Yep, there's one. Mm, trees everywhere. Okay. Uh, for science, I have a question, though. Can I throw a thing while I'm in a cart? Oh my god, I can. That, that's amazing. Yeah, the car is like the early game uh, exoskeleton, because it moves faster than the exoskeleton even does. I should not park it within, like, this area where things are constantly under attack. But I'm going to anyway, because I don't make the best judgment calls. Alright, next up... Sorry, my fans are making a weird noise. Alright, about 170 ammos of, like, red ammo. 70 am 170 ammos of red ammo. 170 ammos of red ammo. Also, this isn't producing enough fast... Huh. If I upgraded these to level 3 and these to level 2, I wonder what would happen. Eh. Uh, sulfur processing is still processing. Alright, so now, that was the easy part. We still got plenty of walls left, but I will eat out, uh, take all the walls that the, our factory has produced. Now let's look at the north for a bit. We're probably going to have to section this off, aren't we? Alright. Yeah, let's get off the belt. So the big av area, obviously, is the oil. But if we look, this is about the furthest point of this lake. Oh cool, there's a million iron right, right just sitting over there. It's like, we get the wall over here, and we stretch it down, and maybe curve it down to here, or alternatively, we stretch it down to here, then down there. So maybe we secure this area next, and then stretch that there, then kill everything within our borders over here, and that will be good. At least that's the plan. And then we could go get a wall from here to here, and that should keep us very secure, as far as I'm aware. It's going to be a fair bit of resources, but this will make the game a lot easier for us. Because right now we're just constantly under attack. And eventually the biters are going to destroy something important, and I'm going to get all pissed off at them again. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. I just wish I could produce more ammo faster, so maybe let's focus on that for a minute. Link. And also we want a bunch of these. Here, cancel these. Need circuits? Not anymore. Okay, so what happens when I upgrade these to that, and these to this? Okay, this produces fast enough, the blue insert is fast enough to keep up with it. Are these fast enough to keep up with the demand, is the question. Because, like, this is going to start running out of ammo. Except that this one grabbed it fast enough. Maybe upgrade these to blue inserters as well. You don't want to upgrade all your stuff immediately because of power use and overflow and stuff and bottlenecks. But doing that alone might be enough to do it. And if not, maybe we can upgrade these to faster inserters. Uh, not faster inserters, faster factories.
If I was smart, I would have just had these, like, insert directly into here. Like, have the factories over here and just long head and insert is bring it into here. But I, I wanted to be clever or cute. Or I just wanted to have another belt over here. I mean, theoretically, we could still do that. Just move the factories over here, move this line up, like, back over here. Like that. And then this goes like that, and that goes like that. Do I want to do that? I kind of do. Well, hold on. Let's do some math here. So, this will produce one firearm magazine every second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi... Okay, no, because it has the speed loss bonus, right? Yeah, this has a crafting speed of 0.5. This has a crafting speed of 0.75. So, compared to the player, I believe is what that is. For example, if I try and craft one Mississippi... Yeah, so that crafts in one second. So this crafts in two seconds one firearm magazine. Uh, so if this one over here, how long does it take for this? This takes four seconds, so three seconds it needs a magazine, whereas this takes about two seconds to produce a magazine. Alright, so this will still back up. Wow, I just used math on camera to figure out something in Factorio. I, I'm i generally unsure how to feel about that. Except that I feel like our copper production isn't keeping up anymore. Dang it! <laughs> I mean, I know how to feel about it. It feels awesome that that happened, but, like, yikes. Let's just stick these in here. I'm trying to clear out our inventory because I see it keeps piling up with junk. Like this light armor and that pistol that don't need to be here. Okay, battery. I want to research laser turrets because I hate, absolutely hate. Oh my god, we need more copper flow right now. Circuits, we need circuits. Green circuits are like one of the most important things for us to have. Yeah, six miners just isn't cutting it anymore. I should really do like smarter mining operations, but I'm dumb. Okay, what's the smart way of doing this? Do we want to run the belt straight through the middle? I mean, we could do that. This isn't going to produce anything, though. I mean, look at it. Nor is this one, really. Eh, I guess I'll worry about that later. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, just out of curiosity, I wish we could see the borders of our pollution cloud more clearly. On the upside, it is pretty cool how the scanning works. Just to see the scanning working. Is that oil? Ooh, landfill right across there. That would take forever, but it would so be worth it. Speaking of landfill, how's this going? 188. Wow. <laughs> Alright, that, that, that could be worse. Uh oh. I don't know if you guys heard that beep, but I think I just disconnected my internet. Whoops. Yep, we're fine, we're fine. There's, my computer made a ding noise. I, I don't like it when it does that. Uh, oof. You guys share ammo. I should really upgrade them to the red ammo already. Especially considering how I've got a whole bunch of it in me. But I... Sorry about that, I had to cut. <sighs> Just fun. Technology is fun. Did I ever tell you how much fun technology is? Hmm. That's about what I was expecting. Eh, that's not too bad. Uh, I meant to place a radar there, darn. I still have the radar, should I go do that real quick? Yeah, I think that's important to have. Yeah, today's been kind of a weird episode. I didn't accomplish too much, except... Well, no, I, I mean, I did do something. I started building a wall, but... That feels so small and insignificant compared to what it should be. Dang it. Darn it. Dope. I'm stuck. Uh. 
You must die, rock. Stupid rocks. No one likes them. Alright, let's just go boop. And that, and then let's try and run that over to the other place, to the other radar. Dang it! <laughs> Stupid rocks, I hate you so much! Now if we look on the map, this area is permanently unlocked. Good. In fact, it even revealed this, which is even better. Yeah, sound is kind of funky when you zoom out. On one hand, I like it that way. On the other hand, that's, well, kind of funky, as I said. Nope. Oh, nope, let me back in before it just crashes into something errantly. I know how this works. Alright, copper production has stepped up a little. Circuit production's keeping up alright. Ammo production, I can't tell from this distance. I also need just a belt running in the other direction to help me walk. Should really be like paving this area over, but I'm lazy. Um, are we gonna have a problem with the red circuits that the red science pack's not keeping up? Like, I kind of overcompensated with the green science packs, but whatever. Eh. For now, it seems okay, I guess? Gears are doing fine. Okay. Um, so, what's next on the agenda for the next two minutes before I end the episode? Because I want to keep it to a reasonable length. What is that red dot? It's a small worm, huh? Okay. Um, but I guess I'll extend the time a little bit, because this episode's been kind of meh. And let's just go out and gun turret up and wall up that one area. Yes, that's a good idea. Forgot how to enter my car for a minute. I missed the usual hotkey I was using, but we've been through that already. So here, let's just pause my timer so it doesn't go off randomly and distract me at mission critical time. And hey, it's getting night time and I don't have night vision equipment. I do have, like, headlights on my car, but they're worse than my character headlights. Character headlights, is that even a thing, I wonder? Oof. Okay, so there's this big cliff right here that I want to utilize. I'm wondering if I could. Like, look at this thing. Eh. Place a turret thing over here and here. And over there, maybe. And, like, they, they could never get across, they being the enemy. Hey, battery finished. Good for us. Now, let's get accumulators, because we're going to need them, and then we can research solars, and then we can go green, and that will be great. Like, seriously, look at this. Also, look at that! I kind of don't want to poke that. How long until my pollution reaches here? Okay. Pollution might... Well... Pollution's going to happen faster than I expect unless I switch to green really early and just murder these things way early. And even then, that might not be enough. I need daylight vision. Hmm. Alright. So yeah, look at that cliff. We place a wall there and over there. And over there, and then we place that wall down to there. Between the water and the biters, I'm wondering if that would be smarter than just sealing this off directly. And I think I've made my choice here. We should get a radar over here. Do I have enough resources to craft one? I do, amazingly. Oh, 
Honestly, maybe just leave the wall here just as an advance warning system for enemies coming through. Look, seriously, what are they gonna do? Attack the wall and then boom, done. Like, I'll be warned that they're coming. I don't know, that... It's a thought, I guess. I don't see why not. Like... Eh? Like, right now, we're not coming under constant attack from here, so the wall might actually be kind of pointless. Like, I might... 10, 15 episodes or more, and I'd be like, Wow, I wasted a whole episode just, like, doing this. I don't know, I'm trying to think ahead. <sighs> Should have thought ahead about that rock. Or these trees. Or those stupid biters that keep attacking me. Why don't I just go wipe them out? I mean, like, that will trigger advanced evolution. Yeah, it's gonna make the biters fa better, faster, stronger. Quicker. But, like, still, they're annoying. Like, they're really starting to bug me. Although those are absolutely okay that they're there. But the ones up north are really starting to get on my nerves. Look, there's an attack coming right now. Ten, eight, ten. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, if nothing else, we should do a supply run. Like, let's go give these guys some ammo. Give them a fighting chance. Because I think these guys didn't get a lot of ammo. So here, let's grab the ammo from here. Let's grab our own ammo. So, here. Let's do a half stack of 200. Half of that. Half stack of 200. Half of that. Let me go here. We have it. Have it again. Half stack of that to there and then the remaining half stack over there which leaves us plenty for ourselves and also gives plenty to these guys all right cool anyways i think that is going to do it for this episode uh sorry if this was just kind of goof offy i don't i didn't really feel like doing much today uh we are like researching things and stuff and that's very important like we're going to set up a factory for our accumulators and solar and we're going to claim that oil soon i just need to figure out the best method of doing it. Do I really just kill, like, these one, two, three nests in the area with, like, grenades and stuff, and maybe clear out that one, then wall it off, or wall it off at this point even, just for a bit? That that might be what I do, actually, come to think of it. Yeah, that might probably be just the best idea. Next episode, we'll go ahead and assault that area, and then we'll kill it, and that will be good. Uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. Sorry this one was kind of just meh. Um, I'll see you guys again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.